about this bill. There's, there is one thing I think that's funny about it. What? These are people who don't call real terrorists terrorists. <laughs> that's right. They refuse to identify terrorists. They're just misguided people. <laughs> that's right. Right. They're misguided. They, they didn't mean it when, when they shot up the army base. Nah, when, yeah, yeah. They didn't it was an it, accident. Right. right. Okay. But be, beyond that, beyond that, I, I see storylines that have developed. One, mainly from liberal commentators, is that Barack Obama is a weak president, that he's letting the Tea Party Republicans in the House push him around, that they thought they were helping to elect a, uh, a real progressive liberal, and he's not liberal enough for them, as crazy as that is. But the second storyline has to do strictly with the Tea Party, and you played a couple of those things. I, I want to make clear, I'm not here to defend the strategy or the tactics of the Tea Party. I'm not taking a position on that. But if you're a journalist, you could portray them either as uh, principled patriots who care about their country or dangerous, scary, stupid wackos. And a lot of the liberals have portrayed them as the latter. I want to give you just a few specifics. Tina Brown, editor-in-chief of Newsweek, said they were suicide bombers. Tom Friedman, New York Times, compared them to Hezbollah. Uh, Tom, uh, Peter Goodman of the Huffington Post said they're acting like terrorists. Uh, William Yeomans on Politico, he teaches law, said the Tea Party faction in the House has now become full-blown terrorist. Um, Fareed Zakaria, you played this in the beginning, said they yeah. want to blow up the country. Paul Krugman, they want to blow up the economy. Even David Brooks, the only kind of conservative they're happy with at the New York Times, said they have no sense of moral decency. And today, the vice president of the United States said they're acting like terrorists. Early